to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are more than news. We also televise programs, events, and archives that are the lifeblood of our community. And we've been doing this for more than 40 years. This is Thursday, February 28th, 2019. I am Chloe Clark, your host for today, and these are our features. Number one, all state musicians, and number two, kids' news. We televise this program live at 11 a.m. Tuesdays and Fridays and upload it to YouTube right after the show. Also, since we have been missing events and in conflict with our regular news time, and since we only have one field reporter, the news time will be moved from time to time so we can get to the events that are in conflict. If you cannot watch us live, you can still watch the show at your convenience at ssctv3.org. Please share our news, features, and programming on your social media. This will help us grow and enable us to serve you better. We also welcome press releases. Just bring them by the studio or send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. If you have pictures or videos that are too large to attach to our email, bring them by the studio from 9 a.m. till noon, weekdays on a flash drive so that we can transfer them to our video editor. If you would like to be a sponsor of our news or governmental telecasts, come by the studio and we will set you up. The advertisement will run on both the TV3 News and the TV3 Bulletin Board. Here now is a list of some of our sponsors. announcements. Free developmental screening for ages birth to five years old will be this Friday, March 8th at the St. John Church of Christ, located at 609 North Pearl here in St. John. If you are interested in preschool this fall, your child needs to be screened. Area screened will be gross motor, fine motor, concepts, communications, social, self-help development, vision, and hearing. To schedule an appointment, Call 620-549-3504. The screening is sponsored by the South Central Kansas Special Education Cooperative, Head Start, Sunflower Early Education Center, Stafford County Health Department, Parents as Teachers, and USD 350. The St. John Hudson PTO is now selling snack sticks from Yoder Meats. They are $1 a stick or $24 for a box. They will be on sale at the PTO table at home games and between games by contacting Alyssa at the District Elementary Office at 620-549-3564 or Cassie at the SJN Bank of Kansas. The PTO Carnival, which is held every other year, will be Saturday, April 27th. The School Community Service Day will be Wednesday, April 24th. Work requests are available at the high school or district office. They are also available on the school's Facebook page. Also, even though this is not a city function, the city office will help you get signed up. The Recreation Commission is offering four-on-four -four youth soccer for girls and boys ages 3 through 6th grade. Deadline to register is March 1st, and the fee is $12. Registration forms may be picked up at the Recreation Center. For more information, call 620-549-6549. You never see news, weather, or performing arts at news time. Performing arts are just completely overshadowed by sports. However, it is just as valuable. The following video is about an annual state event that takes months to prepare, and that is underreported. 
This time of year, our news is dominated by basketball. But there is another group that deserves recognition. It is made up of outstanding high school musicians who are chosen by way of audition to be members of the all-state band, choir, and orchestral groups that are part of the three-day Kansas Music Educators Association annual workshop. This past weekend, all-state musicians Aaron Christman, Bree Meyer, Brittany Schrog, and alternate Shayla Garcia represented our school admirably. Public Service Announcements Golden Belt Telephone has become aware that some of its email users are receiving fraudulent emergency emails. GBT did not send these. Do not open them. Delete them. The cities of St. John and Hudson are seeking a highly motivated and energetic individual to develop, organize, and oversee recreation programs for their communities. For more information, Go to the Kansas Recreation and Park Association website, krpa-jobs.careerwebsite.com. Once again, that is krpa-jobs.careerwebsite.com. The Hudson community is planning its third annual flower festival. It will be a full day Saturday, March the 23rd. We will list the activities as soon as we receive them. The St. John Jubilee will be May 24th and 25th. Outdoor vendor spaces are now being reserved. Check with the city office for an application. Also, by going to Facebook on the Around the Square page, you can leave your email address, get more information, and get an application. Jubilee sponsor packets have been sent out. If you do not get one, you can still donate. This is not just for businesses. Any amount helps the Jubilee continue. If you cannot make a monetary donation and still want to help, contact the city office at 620-549-3208. The gals can answer all your questions. The skating rink hours are Fridays and Saturdays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you need to rent skates, the admission is $2. If you have your own skates, the admission is $1.50. The after-school skate will be Tuesdays from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. The admission for that time is $1. More announcements when we return. The city is compiling a more accurate landlord list. There are a number of people looking for rentals. Please contact the city if you would like to be on the landlord list. Also, please contact the city if you currently have properties available. 
the City of St. John is accepting applications for the position of Public Utilities Maintenance Worker. This position will be under the supervision of the Public Utilities Supervisor and overseen by the City Superintendent. For a copy of the job description and or job application, call the City of St. John office during business hours at 620-549-3208 or visit stjohnkansas.com. The City of St. John is an equal opportunity employer. Now for something really special. Today is Friday, February 22nd, 2019. Welcome to the First Kids News. This, my name is Victor Cornwell, and I am in first grade. The kindergartners celebrated 100 days of school. They brought 100 things to school with them. They measured, counted, weighed, and compared their things. They made a tower out of 100 cubes, and it was really tall. They wrote in their journals about 100 things they wished they could have. They, they made a graph of 100 jelly beans of colors to see which colors had the most, and they got to sneak a few beans to eat when no one was looking. They went to the homecoming pep assembly and wore their 100-day crowns while they cheered for the Tigers. My name is Kaisa Clark, and I am in first grade. The first and second grade students also celebrated the 100th day of school with activities in their classrooms. They sorted and compared objects and wrote about 100 things. The first grade students even got to imagine what they would be doing when they turned 100 years old. It was a fun day! To celebrate Kansas Day, all the elementary students got to see the wonderful Risen of Odds right here at school. Three of the characters, a lion, the tin man, and the scarecrow, were volunteers from our school. Our library shared this special treat with us because this year is the 80th birthday of this show. My name is Angelica Gigand and I am second grade. Last fall, the high school Stuka organized a food drive to help Stuka the local food bank. The whole second participate the this food drive rewarded the top high school and the top elementary classes with a prize. Our second grade classes brought in the most food in the elementary and we won the prize. We got to have ice cream float with Stuka yesterday. Thank you, Stuka, for the sweet treat. My name is McKinley Sanders and I am in second grade. Our second grade classes have been re reading about different landforms and how they can be changed. Our favorite to topic so far has been volcanoes. We'll be doing activities with volcanoes, sand, and water to learn about the effects they have on our Earth. The third and fourth grade students got to see handmade artifacts and learn about them from Mr. Bauer's seventh grade graders. Everyone learned a lot about the history of Kansas and the seventh graders did a great job. Thank you for watching Kids News and stay tuned for more. Please help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area, and our goal is to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. If you have items that need to be announced on TV3, or you have an event that would, video, that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Give us your items or video requests to ssctb3 at gmail.com. Give us a little lead time, and we will be there. Also, since we only have one field reporter, our live news telecasts will be rescheduled from time to time when in conflict with the news or a program event. 
If you would like to help us out as a field reporter, please come by and visit with David about the job requirements. This is, since this is a volunteer-run television station, there will be no pay, but the service to our community will be priceless. Keep us informed, and we will keep you informed. Thank you for watching.